Name the word French Poodle and visions of Princess Fifi come to mind. Fifi is a tall, white, and fancy poodle who insists on a daily dose of gourmet cuisine with a side of sparkling water in her water bowl made of crystal. Her collar is studded with diamonds, and as she walks down the roads of Paris, she leaves a trail of Chanel No. 5 perfume that has all male dogs turning their heads. As a glamorous French poodle, Fifi works as a model for a high-end magazine and enjoys sipping some possum lattes and ice creams at exclusive canine cafes. Jokes aside, the term French poodle most likely conjures an image of a regal and refined canine residing in the heart of France. Even if not living the high fashion lifestyle of Fifi, the poodle boasts an elegant body, which along with its flamboyant show coat exudes an air of grace and charm. So let's discover more interesting facts about French poodles, along with the reason why the word French has been enclosed within regular double quotation marks. 10 Facts About French Poodles As with many other dog breeds, the French Poodle boasts many amenities that are worthy of discovery. Whether you are planning to open your heart and home to a cute poodle puppy, or you are just curious about this breed, these poodle facts will satiate any curiosity about this breed. 1. Poodles are not really French. While the poodle has been nominated the National Dog of France, there is no such official dog breed as the French Poodle. Poodles are not French. In France, the French word for poodle is caniche. However, since the French were so enamored with these dogs, they may be still colloquially called French Poodles to simply highlight their association with France. 2. Poodles likely speak Deutsch. If not French, where are poodles from? While the exact origins of the poodle are not entirely clear, there is belief that poodles actually originated in Germany. The word poodle derives from the German word pudel, puddle, from the onomatopoeic term pudeln, meaning to splash about. Three, poodles, were hunters at heart. Before poodles became cherished lap dogs of many aristocratic ladies of France, they were used as hunting dogs. In particular, they served the role as water retrievers, hence the origin of their name. As water retrievers, a poodle's main task was to retrieve fallen game, such as ducks, from bodies of water and delivered them to the hunter. This has granted them the French name caniche, which comes from the word cane, the French word for a female duck. 4. Poodle hairdos aren't just for decoration. A poodle's curly coat is meant to help them swim and dry quickly after getting out of the water. Their coat is not only water resistant, it also works as a wool cardigan ensuring warmth and insulation. A poodle's coat was traditionally trimmed by hunters to allow free movement and propelling power of the rear legs when swimming, considering how heavy wet fur becomes. The remaining coat and a few tufts of fur were left to strategically ensure that the dog's vital areas were protected by the cold. Thus, the art of poodle grooming was born and has remained a tradition that still remains mandatory in the show ring today. 5. Poodles have hair instead of fur. What this means is that a poodle's hair, unlike fur, keeps growing up to a predetermined point at which point it then falls out, as it happens with human hair. The advantage of this is that owners are less likely to find stray hairs around their house, furniture and clothing, because the hairs are more likely to get trapped within the poodle's curly coat rather than falling off. 6. Poodles are high maintenance. The above mentioned less shedding has its own downfall. As the shed hairs get trapped between the hairs, tangles and mats are eventually likely to form. To prevent this, poodle owners need to brush their dog's coats frequently and schedule routine grooming appointments to have the coat trimmed at least every four to six weeks for all their lives. If allowed to grow, the poodle's coat may be allowed to form a corded-like look, but owners must patiently work on cording the coat themselves, which can be a painstakingly slow process. While poodles require a certain level of maintenance in terms of grooming, their intelligence and trainability make them rewarding companions. Seven, poodles may sport different clips. At dog shows, you may find poodles sporting the elaborate English saddle or continental clip or a puppy clip if the poodle is under 12 months. Some classes will allow a more casual sporting clip. Nine, poodles aren't hypoallergenic. Several dog breeds have been marketed as being hypoallergenic with statements that they are better tolerated by people who are allergic to dogs. The poodle is listed as one of these breeds. Just because a dog breed has hair and not fur and sheds less, doesn't automatically mean it won't cause allergies. On top of stemming from a dog's hair, dog allergies may be also triggered by a dog's dander and even their saliva. The concept of a hypoallergenic animal is not supported by scientific evidence, conclude Butt et al. 
In a paper for a medical journal, a further paper in 2021 confirmed once again that the concept of a hypoallergenic animal is currently not supported by scientific evidence. Nine, poodles come in three sizes. Variety is the spice of life when it comes to poodles. You can enjoy them in three different sizes. Standard poodles are over 15 inches tall at the shoulder, miniature poodles are 15 inches or under, and toy poodles are less than 10 inches. The American Kennel Club considers all three sizes as varieties of one breed. Therefore, they are all under one main breed standard. 10. Poodles Have a history as circus dogs. Other than retrieving downed birds, poodles boast a history as circus dogs performing tricks in front of an audience during the 19th century. Their solid temperaments help them make suitable travel companions that would quickly adjust to unfamiliar surroundings. Many street performers throughout Europe took advantage of the poodle's intelligence and high trainability, dressing them up in costumes and letting them perform at circuses and shows.